To recreate this view of project performance that analyzes the time spent in hours, percent of time spent, and cost across people and teams, we're going to create a hierarchy so we can collapse and expand the teams like this. We'll use parameters for dynamic measure values and format the measure values so they're dynamic, like dollar for cost and percent for portion of time spent. We'll also use the dynamic measure values to create a smart legend that color codes based on conditions will set. We'll remove the color from grand totals that were applied during conditional formatting and round the edges of a box to create a curved aesthetic box. Excel file and Tableau are linked below. To create a hierarchy, you just need to drag one field on top of another. I'll start by adding team and name into our rows. And since there are multiple people on each team, we'll drag name on top of teams to create the hierarchy. Now we can expand and collapse the teams to see the names of people who are on each team. I'll add project as a column so we can get a table to put our measure values in. And I'll put hours in the marks and change it from details to text. We want to capture the percent of time a person spends on a project. So we'll add a calculated field called percent of time. This is hours divided by the total hours a person spends in a week. We can use an LOD or level of detail function. So holding fix just the name, take the sum of hours. And we'll add percent of time to the marks as text. We also want to capture the cost of each project for a person. So we want to take the salary and divide it by 52 to get the weekly salary. Then multiply by the percent of time a person spends on a project, which is the last calculated field we created. Now that we have all three of these fields in the marks, we can see that it's a bit clunky. So we're gonna use parameters to make the measure values dynamic. Create a parameter, we'll call it metric type, change the data type to string, and in the allowable values, we'll create a list. Time, percent of time, and cost. Now I'll right click on the parameter and show it on our worksheet. We need to edit our measures so they're dependent on the parameter. So for hours, we'll create a calculated field and say if the metric type equals time, then hours. We already have a calculated field for percent of time. So we can edit it and say if the metric type equals percent of time, then our formula. And we'll do the same thing for cost. Replace hours with our calculated field time. Now they are set up to only show values when their metric is selected in our parameter list. But you can see that the value isn't centered in the cell because it's giving room for all three metrics even though time is the only one selected. To fix this, we'll use measure values. We'll remove all the measures we have in our marks and add measure values into the marks. Change it from detail to text. And keep only the ones we're interested in. We can use the parameter to toggle between the different metric types. But now if we change it to percent of time, it's difficult to read. We've set this up using a metric type parameter to identify which measure value to show. This means each measure value has its own calculated field. So we can change the numbers of each calculated field's default properties. Right click on the calculated field, go to default properties, number formatting, and I'm gonna change the percent of time calculated field to be a percentage with no decimals. For cost, we'll do the same process, but change the number format to be a custom currency with no decimals. For time, I wanna include the unit of time, which is hours. So I'll make it a custom number with no decimals, and at the bottom, I'll add the suffix space HR to abbreviate hours. Now we can flip through the different metric types and see percent of time has a percentage and cost has a dollar sign in front of it. I want a legend that identifies which projects have a high cost and which projects have a lot of time allocated towards them. I'm going to create a calculated field called smart legend and say for the case of metric type, when time is selected, if the sum of time is greater than 20, then red, else green. I'll copy that line down and change time to percent of time on the second line. 
I'll also change the threshold to be 0.5 for the percent of time. And for cost, I'll do 1000. Drag this field into the marks and change it from detail to color. Now we can edit the colors by clicking on the legend, edit colors, and select green for green and red for red. Now we can click through our metrics and see that the threshold for when it is green or red changes based on the metric we are selecting. I also want to add the totals, so I'll go to the analysis tab, click totals, and show row and column grand totals. But now the colors don't really make sense for the grand totals. So to remove those, I'm going to right click on the smart legend, total using, and hide. Now I'll edit the colors and choose a dark gray for the hashtag missing, which is the grand totals. We can call this worksheet table and I'll create a new worksheet for our box. To create a rounded corner container, create a calculated field called rounded box and put two quotes in it so it's a string. Drag it into the marks and change it from detail to text. Right click inside the box, annotate area. Click OK. Right click in the box again and go to format. Now we can change the shading to 100% white and the corners to very rounded. We'll also remove the line. I also want this to fill up the entire view. Right click in the highlighted section that is not the box and we'll format the worksheet to be the same color as the dashboard background. We'll create a dashboard and drag our box worksheet into the dashboard as a floating object. And hide the title of the box worksheet. I like to create a blank text box and fill it with the color of our background. Then I'll resize these objects and drag the text behind our rounded box. Now we can add our table to the dashboard. I'm going to remove the smart legend and have the table fill up the entire view. Also hide the title and resize the objects. I want to change the text for the entire table to be a size 10. I'll hide the field label for project and get rid of the text for both grand totals. I'll drag in another floating text box and put the title of our dashboard in here. And now I'll do some final touch-ups. The hierarchy we created makes it easy to navigate a lot of data without being overwhelmed. And the dynamic measure values make it versatile for scenarios as it allows users to adjust the dashboard to display the metrics they are interested in. Removing color from grand totals and the smart legend ensure the data is not only readable, but also interpreted correctly. Now we have not just a tool for displaying data, but a powerful tool for detailed analysis.